welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for stay tuned so today i'll be making a sorrel fruit cake so i have some room temperature butter with some sugar i will leave everything in the description that i'll be using so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to whisk my butter and sugar until light and fluffy. And I also have a video on how I prepare my sorrel puree. But guys, I get the method of the sorrel cake. Very nice. So what I did different with my sorrel puree, I just leave it for two days before I prepare my sorrel cake to get the nice red color without using food coloring and I also change up a few other thing with my sorrel cake so as you go along you will see because if you use your sorrel puree right away guys it's gonna give you that purplish look because you're gonna have flour sugar to it so it's gonna give you that purple look but I, as I said, I leave it two days before I prepare and I get my nice and a red color. So my butter and sugar is coming nicely, guys. So here I have some eggs. Guys, I'm using a little more ingredients because I here I'll be making a 10 inch cake along with some cupcake so I'll just leave in the description box what I used to make one cake okay so I did had some lemon juice in and now I'm just whisking nicely So guys, you want to add eggs one at a time and beat well. Guys, I haven't been uploading as regular as I used to. I'm very, very busy baking, guys. But soon, I'll be back. As often as I used to. Look at that, guys. Nice and fluffy. Here I have my sorrel puree and my mixed fruits. You want to make sure both mix properly. So now you're just going to add it to your sugar and butter. Sorry guys, I thought it was recording first. I always have that little problem. So here I'm just going to add the rest of my sorrel puree with my mixed fruits. Look how nice and red that is guys. Lovely. Got a nice red color that's coming, guys. Look at that. So 
some people had food coloring guys which is okay but i didn't have any Look at that guys, nice. Yes guys, I have been making a lot of sorrel fruit cake. A lot. People love the sorrel fruit cake. They also go, you have a lot of people that go for black cake. Still, but the sorrel fruit cake. And I'm telling you, it's the boss. It tastes really good. So there I'm having some vanilla guys. I'm also adding some almond essence as well. And then we're just going to mix nicely together. Got nice and beautiful like this, guys. So here I have my flour. That's I'm going to add all my spices to. So I have mixed spice, cinnamon, baking powder, and some salt. And my non egg as well. So you just want to mix nicely so all the spices get in the flour nicely. I'm just going to add my flour in because I'm going to cut and fold my cake now. Okay, just take your time and cut, cut and fold. You can also use a wooden spoon as well, guys. I do that sometime. Don't add your flour all at once. Had it little by little. And I will leave in the description box how I prepare my mixed fruits and my sorrel puree as well. So I did go ahead and add some white rum in. You can use any white rum that you choose to use. And I'm also going to add some red label wine. You can use your fruit wine or your port wine. So I'm just going to add that in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to lock the alcohol into my cake. Guys, the lighting not giving me any justice of my color because it has a richer look than that.
So now I'm going to prepare my baking thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to grease it with some butter. So I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm just going to add my mixture. So you just want to spread everything evenly. So I'm just tapping my cake on the surface to prevent any ear bubble. I'm gonna make sure you have a water bath in your oven because you don't want to have a dry cake. So here I have my cake out of the oven. I'm just missing it with some red label wine and white rum. Look at that guys, beautiful. Look how beautiful, nice sorrel cake. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and let me know in the comment section what you like to see I prepare next. Don't forget to hit that good old notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to be notified when I upload another video. Bye for now.